Hi, I'm Dr. Bruce Schroeder, and welcome to Carolina Breast Imaging Specialist in Greenville, North Carolina. I've been using the iDye workstation for several years. Uh, certainly we used it when we had 2D MAMO, and then when we got the GE Senaclair system, we were able to use it for our 3D MAMO solution. Seno Iris is the latest incarnation of the uh, GE uh, workstation solution specifically for 3D mammography, and I can show you some of the features that we're very excited about. On a typical volume preview image, you uh, have what looks like a 2D mammogram, and they take the 3D data and they uh, pretty much sum together all of the uh, information and make an image that looks a lot like a 2D mammogram. And sometimes you can't really tell the difference between a, a synthetic uh, volume preview image and a 2D mammogram. In fact, the latest software version of the vol volume preview algorithm, which I'm looking at right now, I would not be able to tell this wasn't a traditional 2D mammogram. Uh, so that's great. Then we have a tool called the um, Volume Preview Navigator, and this is described that way because it helps us navigate. So if you pick a finding or a point on the image, which is basically this 2D image, you can go ahead and click on it, and it will take you to the corresponding place in the volumes, the planes and slabs, where you can really, really define it a whole lot better. Right now, I'm looking at an area that I, I think I would have found on the volume preview alone, but I get a whole lot more data if I uh, actually look at its representation in 3D. And it takes you directly to the slab or plane that contains the finding, so that's a great feature. It also has uh, what we call the volume preview inspector, so that sounds a little bit more focused than it is. It basically brings up a mag glass wherever you click the mouse, and within that mag glass, now by moving the scroll wheel or the mouse, uh, you can scroll through the 3D data set. In fact, it even has a little position marker that tells you where you are um, in, the, in the volume. And of course, there's one other feature here, which if we make an annotation on any of the planes and slabs, so let's say I find this spiculate mass, which is pretty obvious over here, uh, make a circle around it. Now automatically, it, on the 2D volume preview image, it shows me an indication that there's an, an annotation and a finding, basically. Uh, and anytime I go back to this, it's going to have this, and I can click on it. And even if I scrolled off this slice, if I click on it, it's going to go back to that specific image, uh, either a plane or slab, whichever one has it. Uh, so boy, there's a lot of new features here that we're very excited to be able to use. I think it's going to really help with our workflow and um, going to help us get through cases more quickly.